During the military parade on November 1, 2024, commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Liberation Revolution, the Algerian army showcased its newly developed engineer tracked armored vehicle. This advanced engineering platform, based on the Soviet era T 62 main battle tank chassis, has been modernized with cutting edge features to enhance its mine clearing and demolition capabilities on the battlefield. Designed specifically for combat engineering operations, this new vehicle significantly boosts Algeria's ability to navigate and neutralize obstacles and explosives in hostile environments. At the heart of its functionality are two large boxes mounted atop the T-62 chassis, housing linear demolition charges. These charges can be deployed using rocket propulsion, making the vehicle an effective tool for breaching minefields and clearing safe paths for advancing troops and equipment. The technological advancements of this Algerian engineer vehicle position it on par with the American M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle, ABV, which is based on the M1 Abrams tank chassis. Both vehicles are equipped for similar breaching and obstacle clearing operations, underscoring the strategic importance of such capabilities in modern military engagements. In addition to its offensive capabilities, the Algerian engineer vehicle is outfitted with explosive reactive armor, ERA plates, strategically placed on the upper and lower glassy, covering approximately 75% of its sides. This armor configuration provides enhanced protection against common threats in minefield clearance zones, such as rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and anti-tank missiles. The rear of the vehicle features statistical armor, which offers lighter protection while ensuring essential defense for the engineering crew. To further augment its self-defense capabilities, the vehicle is equipped with a bank of three smoke dischargers on each side, situated above the mine laying boxes. This system allows the crew to deploy smoke screens to obscure their position from enemy forces, significantly enhancing the vehicle's survivability in hostile environments. The vehicle also features a 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted at the front center of the mine laying boxes. This weapon provides crucial defensive firepower, enabling the crew to effectively respond to close range threats. The integration of a heavy machine gun aligns with a configuration seen in other modern engineering vehicles, achieving a balance between firepower and operational functionality. The crew consists of three personnel, a driver, a commander, and an operator responsible for overseeing mine clearing tasks. This specialized configuration allows for efficient operation, ensuring that roles are clearly defined and that the vehicle can effectively navigate through dangerous terrains while managing explosive deployments. The unveiling of this T-62 based engineering vehicle highlights Algeria's commitment to modernizing its armored fleet with versatile multi-role vehicles capable of supporting both offensive and defensive operations. By leveraging the reliable and robust T-62 chassis, Algeria has successfully modernized an existing platform to meet contemporary battlefield requirements without the need for entirely new tank designs. This strategic approach optimizes resources and aligns with Algeria's broader goals of enhancing its domestic defense capabilities. With the introduction of this new combat engineer vehicle, the Algerian army significantly strengthens its combat engineering units, enhancing their ability to support armored columns and infantry in the critical tasks of clearing mines and obstacles. This development reflects Algeria's push towards self-sufficiency in defense production and showcases the effective integration of legacy components with modern engineering solutions. The presence of this advanced vehicle at the parade underscores Algeria's advancements in defense technology and its determination to cultivate a self-reliant, well-equipped military force capable of addressing evolving security challenges in the region.